Welcome to Moms Every Day, helpful hints for a happier home. Welcome to MomsEveryDay.com. Joining us is Dr. Paul Jancy with Brazos Valley Allergy and Asthma Clinics. And today we are talking about immune deficiencies. There are a lot of immune deficiencies out there. Which is the most common? The most common is actually called common variable immunodeficiency. And it involves limitations in your body's ability to produce antibodies that fight infections. So some people may not even realize they have an immune deficiency, right? Exactly. Many times it goes undiagnosed. Um, if you're getting frequent sinus infections, there could be a number of different causes for that. Some of my patients with really severe allergies, before we get those under control, they've had sinus infections several times a year. But if there's no other underlying cause and you're still getting sinus infections, or you've gotten pneumonia a couple times, you really should think about whether you have an immune deficiency. And how do you find that out? There's some blood tests that we do looking for that, specifically measuring categories of antibodies, and then we can measure antibody levels against specific bacteria. And that way you can actually treat the underlying problem. Exactly. People who are deficient in antibodies can get infusions with antibodies, and that can be done now even on a monthly basis, or they've got new ways to do it under the skin. Okay. So in all, it's best to find out if you have this and then kind of treat it so that you don't get sick all the time because that can cause some chronic illness. Exactly. Uh, if you let the damage go on long term, it can cause damage to the lungs too. Okay, some good, good information. If you'd like to learn more about immune deficiencies, just log on to momseveryday.com slash BCS. <laughs>